Hi, I'm Simon from Warm Glass, and today I'm going to show you a short video just about the KilnCare KCR2 programmer. It's a very simple programmer, and this is how it works. So this is the KCR2 programmer, which comes on the Hobby Fuser Kiln. Uh, it's showing the room temperature at the moment, and that's shown by the number there, and also by the uh, little dot on the thermometer. Uh, to get to the program, so you press the forward button, and that shows you, uh, at the moment it's on program one. Um, if you press the up button, uh, you can go through the, all the different programs for this kiln. Each one has got a different uh, program set into it by Kiln Care, um, and you'll find that in the information with the kiln. So to set program one, you press the forward button, and that gives you the first temperature, which here is 222. Um, so you can change that by just pressing the up button, or the down button, and that will just get you to the to what you want. We go up at about 222 um, for the first uh, part of the first segment, uh, and then you press the forward button again, and that takes you to 677. That's the first temperature that we're setting it to, and again, you can press up, the up button or the down button to change that, uh, and then you press the forward button again. That will take you to the hold time, um, which is 30 minutes, uh, so we set 30 minutes for this. And again, you can press the up or down button to change that 30 minutes uh, to a different time. That's the end of segment one. Press the forward button again, and you've guessed a segment two, which is 333 degrees per hour. And then press the forward button again. That will take you to 795. So for the hobby fuser, 795 is the top temperature for a full fuse. Um, that we're setting into this kiln. Normally in other kilns it would be 804, in some kilns it's 790, in this one specifically it's 795. So press the forward button again and that will give you the hold time at top temperature which is 10 minutes and then press it again and here we've put in 999 and that gives us full. It shows up as full but you actually program in 999 so if I press the down button here, um, it will just show you that it's at 999, and, and if I leave it at uh, 999, it will save full when you get through to that, that section. So then press the forward button. That takes us down to 482, which is the set point for annealing um, in, in segment three. And for the hold time, uh, press the forward button again, and the, and the hold time on this is one hour. Um, that's measured in minutes, so if I press the down button on this, it will show you that it's 59 minutes, but then if you go up to 60 minutes, it just says one hour. Um, and it, here in the studio, um, we, that's where we end the program, so if I press the forward button now again, it just says end, and that's the end of, uh, that's the, end of the segments. Um, in some programs, you might want to add a slower anneal. Here, we only use, uh, uh, we only uh, go to the annealing time and then we allow the kiln to cool. So to start the program, you press the forward button, sorry, uh, the, the uh, stop start button, and that gives you the opportunity to put a delay in starting the kiln. If you don't put anything in there, um, and you've got to do it quite quickly, it will then just switch the kiln on. So the kiln is now on, it's firing, the temperature will go up, and the uh, program uh, will fire all the way through. When the temperature is coming down, the downward arrow will be showing, and it shows you also which segment uh, that is firing uh, in that section there. The other arrows that uh, the other things that you will see there are uh, the um, the three little lights at the top. One is showing you that there's a um, the program is going up or down. One. Uh, shows you that the, uh, the temperature and the other one will show you whether, whether it's a hold time. So that was the KCR2 programmer. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching.